judging what's real hip hop half the time. Beat them who album flop, you know. Both done sank and it ain't left the dock. Come on, man, cause I'm hot. He just mad cause he not. You ain't gotta give me my props, just give me the yachts. Give me my rocks and keep my fans coming in flops. Till you top the Super Bowl, keep your mouth on lock. I'm away. <laughs> On the mic, but I'm humble in real life. Taking nothing for granted, blessing everything of my life. Trying to see a new light at the top of the roof. Baby, it ain't not single, but I speak the truth. I heat the food, belly acting so uncool. So crazy. Top down, shirt off in the coop, spreading the loot with my family and friends and my closest again. And I do it again if it means I'm a win. Dirty I Probably the game that you know kind of turned our season around. Uh, this is probably you know it's kind of weird, but uh, the Utah game down in, down in Salt Lake, down the Hudson Center, where they just kicked our butts. You know they, they were more physical, they just boxed out, and they were just they just were, were relentless. And I think because we got our uh, butts kicked so bad, we kind of took that to the BYU game, and that kind of propelled us to you know winning 17 in a row. There's a couple games that were the most memorable. I think the ones that, that brought us the biggest test, that brought that, that showed what we were made of. And I, I think the first one was at NAU. And um, um, just to be down by you know double digits in the first half and to be able to claw back and um, end up with a, a winning shot by Stevie. It was just a, a great feeling. We 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 um we went for it the whole game, and it felt so good to get that win. I think that gave us a lot of confidence. Well, I you know Jermaine passed me the ball, and I shot it. and I just prayed that I didn't hit the side of the backboard. But uh, I don't know. You know, all year I had a really rough time with my shot. Um, the previous play, I gave up a layup to tie the game, so it was 61-61. So I felt real bad. You know, I thought I'd get subbed out, but the they left me in. I don't know why. I would have took, my, I would have took, you know, I would have took, you know, I would have took myself to self out because, you know, you hit a shot all year. But they left me in. Uh, I just set up on the baseline. Jermaine drove. I just spotted up, got the ball, jumped up, and shot it in. It's probably, probably the biggest shot of my career. You know, and I was really, really happy and that we could get the win. And uh, I guess the rest is history. Mostly it was just right place at the right time. And people don't realize when you get in a situation, you know, I'm down six, there's no pressure on that. I mean, we're supposed to lose anyway, so, you know, just catch it and shoot it. I mean, it's an easy, it's an easy opportunity to do something successful because there's really no failing. I mean, we're already in a position to lose the game. And so 
But it was it was amazing because I mean we're under two minutes to go and the whole crowd, everybody there, you know, thinks Eastern's broke our streak and everything and to come back. And we didn't play our best game by any means. And so the to win through toughness was probably the funnest win of the year for me. I remember every day just stepping out on that court every every game day and being confident that we could leave, be at home or away with a win. First off, everyone, I think, uh, dedicated themselves individually um, to getting better, and a lot of people improved individually. But as a team, we came a lot closer off the court, and it translated on the court. And I mean, the, the best guys in the world, we all were closest could be on the road. We loved traveling together. We loved hanging out together on the weekends. I mean, everything about it was great. I have that pressure on winning, 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 gave us confidence like, look, I mean, we want to keep this going. I mean, we win the 16, we win the 17 games, let's keep it going, let's keep it going. And, and just our role players, I think, was the key to some of our role victories, even some of our home victories. I mean, you look at our team, you know, you think uh, once we just stop, let's just stop the they, they, um, three best players or they four best players and go out there and, and, and just shut them down. We still got Stevie, we still got Thomas, we still got Pat. I think our bench was focused also. I mean, not just the starting five or, or, or the head coaches. I think our bench was focused, and I think that's what got us uh, some of these key wins. We had a great coaching staff that would prepare us. Coach Cravens um, led us be the players that we were instead of trying to make us something that he wanted us to be. He would always get us to be, um, let us act the way that we normally do and, and play the role that we needed to. And I think that really helped us a lot too. Um, Coach Cravens always say to me, we make the coaches, but I think the coaches make us. You know, the same things they instilled in us last year it's in us this year, but we grow each and every year. You want to put yourself in, uh, in position just to win the championship. And Coach Cravens and his staff have really showed a lot of, of confidence in the seniors, even his freshmen, all the way down to his freshmen. And the coaches just had that feeling that we was going to be a good team. go out of this tunnel when you see our team ready to play and they, and they charged up ready, everybody standing up clapping, even the mascot, cheerleaders, you see every, everybody going wild, you ready to play. You ready to play and, and they, get you, they, they get you going. They get you in the layup line going. You know, you want to sweat, you want to do all this stuff, but it's the fans. I owe everything to the fans. I paid my dues. Time after time, I've done my sentence, but committed no crime, and bad mistakes, I've made a few, I've been away Over 
who called the timeout here and what's taking place. By our count, Eastern Washington is out of timeouts. And it's a technical. Let's listen. Wow. A technical foul. Boyette, contact, Parasol to three. First the board, and the Wildcats are going to the end. A lot of it was relief because, uh, you know, we figured we'd already won our conference championship and everything, but the exhilaration of knowing it was all finally done. I mean, nobody could take anything away from us. We were in the NCAA tournament for sure. Um, my goals here had been achieved, and it was just it was spectacular to be hugging all my teammates and especially Coach Cravens, you know, for him to reach that point. He deserves it more than anyone. I'm on my way to the NCAA tournament. It, it, it gets you to the point where you be like, I would have never thought of this. Out of three years I've been here, I finally made it to the highest peak of the mountain. I just wanted to tell just my the six seniors that you know I I love them a lot. You know I, I hate to not win in my, my my previous two years when you had Chris Woods, Mark Thurick, then you got Damon King, you got Quinn Tebbs. You hate to see them go. I wanted them to be a part of what we accomplished this year. I just want to say uh, thanks to Coach Cravens for giving me the opportunity, you know, to come out to Utah and play play at Weber State. Um, I enjoyed my time here. Uh, I don't know, it, it was a great year. To win 17, 17 in a row was just amazing. I never thought we'd be able to do it. I figured we would lose a game here or there somewhere. But um, I don't know, it was just a wonderful time. And I just want to say thanks to the coaching staff, Coach Troya, Coach Earlywine, Coach Jensen. and. Uh, I don't know, I just love everybody here and uh, hopefully nobody forgets about me. Thank you.